First question on the position of the roots of a quadratic equation. If the equation x square plus 2 into a plus 1 into x plus 9a minus 5 equal to 0 has only negative roots, then show that a is greater than or equal to 6. Given equation is x square plus 2 into a plus 1 into x plus 9a minus 5 equal to 0. For only negative roots, one of the conditions to be fulfilled is that discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0. That means roots should be real roots. Second is, if both roots are negative, then their sum will be less than 0 or negative. And third condition will be that their product will be greater than 0 or positive. So from first condition, we can say that d is p square minus 4ac and this should be greater than or equal to 0. So this implies that b is 2 into a plus 1. It is square minus 4 into coefficient of x square is a that is 1 into c is 9a minus 5. This should be greater than or equal to 0. So on simplifying we will have 4 into a square plus 4 plus 8a minus 36a minus 20 that minus minus will become plus it is 20 greater than or equal to 0. Further simplifying it will be 4a square then minus it is 28a and then plus 24 will be greater than or equal to 0. 4 is common so remaining is a square minus 7a plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 because 4 is a constant so we can write it as a square minus 7a plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0. On factorizing it will give a minus 1 into a minus 6 and it is greater than or equal to 0. So its solution is that a belongs to the minus infinity to 1 union 6 to infinity. Second is that sum is less than 0 and sum is given by minus b by 2a should, should be less than 0 and minus b by 2a gives b is 2 into a plus 1 divided by 2a it is 2 into 1 and should should be less than 0 this implies that this 2 and 2 get cancelled so it is minus a plus 1 should be less than 0 or we can say a plus 1 should be greater than 0 or a is greater than minus 1 this is our second solution third is that product is greater than 0 product is given by c by a in the standard equation and it is greater than 0 this implies that c is here 9a minus 5 divided by coefficient of x square is a this is 1 and it should be greater than 0 this implies that 9a minus 5 is greater than 0 or 9a is greater than 5 or we can say a is greater than 5 by 9 this is our third condition now we mark this solution on the number line this is origin and our points are one is minus one another is five by nine and from first we have the points one and another one is six so from equation one the solutions are minus infinity to one including one so it is mark here and six to infinity this is given by the equation one from equation two a is greater than minus one so second equations give the solution is it is minus one because minus one is not included this is from the equation two and from third equation a is greater than five by nine so it is five by nine or five by nine is not included so solutions are for equation third now the solution of the given equation will be the common solution from 1 to 3 and the common solution from 1 to 3 are this is the portion which have the common solution so we can say that a belongs to 6 to infinity this is the answer Second question is, if the roots of x square plus x plus a equal to 0, x is a, 
then which of the following option is correct here given quadratic equation is x square plus x plus a equal to 0 and comparing with the standard quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 because a is already used in the given equation so in a standard equation we will use a bar to separate and identify the coefficient of x square now we see that coefficient of x square which is a bar is equal to 1 and it is greater than 0 so graph will be parabola which is upward opening and the roots lie on the right hand side because they exceed the a therefore the a will lie on the left hand side of the roots of the parabola and value of the function at point a will be fa and a bar for the parabola is greater than 0 so condition to be satisfied should be one is discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0 that means roots should be real second is that product of a bar and fa because both are positive should be greater than 0 and third is that vertex which is xv should be on the right hand side that means xv should be greater than a solving these conditions first d greater than or equal to 0 it will give b square minus 4 into a bar into c equal to is greater than or equal to 0 this will give 1 minus 4 into 1 into c is a and it should be greater than or equal to 0 we can write it is 1 minus 4 a should be greater than or equal to 0 or minus 4 a should be greater than or equal to minus 1 which can be written as 4 a should be less than or equal to 1 or a should be less than or equal to 1 by 4 on number line if we mark it this is the point 1 by 4 we have the solution which is minus infinity to 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is included so we use the dark circle second is coefficient of x square which is 1 and the function value at a substitute x equal to a so we will have a square plus a plus a it is greater than 0 this implies that a square plus 2a is greater than 0 or a into a plus 2 is greater than 0 this implies that the possible values of a should belongs to minus infinity to minus 2 union 0 to infinity using the baby curve method so for second solution we can mark from minus infinity to minus 2 so say minus 2 is here and 0 is this is the 0 so our solution for second condition is minus infinity to minus 2 and minus 2 is excluded and then 0 to infinity third gives that coordinate of the vertex will be minus b by 2 a a is a bar from the standard equation is greater than a this implies that minus b is 1 2 into and a bar is 1 and it should be greater than a this implies that minus 1 by 2 is greater than this is greater than a or we can say a is less than minus 1 by 2 and one marking in the number line we will have a is less than minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 is the point in between minus 2 and 0 so this is the point and solution is minus infinity to minus 1 by 2 and excluding minus 1 by 2 so final solution of the problem will be the common solution from the condition 1 2 3 and common solution will be from minus infinity to this is minus 2 and minus 2 is excluded so we can say that if the roots lie roots exceeds a then condition is that a is belonging to minus infinity to minus 2 or we can say a is less than minus 2 hence option d is the correct option third question is the equation x square plus ax plus b square equal to 0 has two roots each of which exceeds a number c then which of the following given options are correct the given quadratic equation is x square plus ax plus b square equal to 0 on comparing with the standard quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 because same coefficients are used in given 
expression therefore we will use a bar b bar and c bar in the standard quadratic equation here coefficient of x square is 1 which is greater than 0 so graph is parabolic upward opening and it is given that two roots exceeds the number c therefore roots are real roots and point c lie on the left hand side of the roots and the value of the function at point c is say fc therefore the condition to be satisfied are that discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0 second is that vertex xv should be greater than the point c and third is that the product of a bar which is the coefficient of x square and value of the function c should be greater than zero because both are positive so now substituting the value here it is b bar square minus 4 into a bar into c bar it should be greater than or equal to zero this will give a square minus 4 into 1 into c which is b square and it is greater than or equal to 0 this implies that a square minus 4 b square is greater than or equal to 0 from this we can see that because 4 b square itself is a, a square number so it is positive therefore we can see that a square is greater than or equal to 4 b square so option b is not the correct answer from second we see that this vertex has the coefficients minus b by 2a b bar by 2a bar and it is greater than c this implies that substituting the value b bar is a and 2 into a bar is 1 and it should be greater than c this implies that minus a by 2 should be greater than c while in option c minus a by 2 is given less than c so option c is also not correct in option 3 if we multiply a bar with fc a bar is 1 and value of the function at x equal to c is c square plus ac plus b square and it is greater than 0 this implies that c square plus ac plus b square is greater than 0 and it is true so option b is the correct option fourth question is the value of a for which both the roots of the equation x square minus 4ax plus 2a square minus 3a plus 5 equal to 0 are greater than 2r. Here quadratic equation is x square minus 4ax plus 2a square minus 3a plus 5 equal to 0. So here coefficient of x square is 1 and on comparing with the standard quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and to differentiate we will use a bar b bar and c bar in the standard equation so first we see that a bar is greater than 0 therefore it is upward opening and because roots are greater than 2 that means 2 lie on the left hand side of the roots and value of the function at 2 is f2 so the condition to be satisfied are Number one, discriminant should be greater than equal to zero for real roots. This will give b bar square minus 4 a bar c bar as per the standard equation and should be greater than zero. Substituting the value, we will have minus 4a square minus 4 into a bar is 1 and c bar that is the coefficient constant is 2a square minus 3a plus 5 and it should be greater than or equal to zero simplifying it will be 16 a square minus 8 a square then plus 12 a minus 20 it should be greater than or equal to zero or we can write it is 8 a square plus 12 a minus 20 is greater than or equal to zero or simply it is 2 a square plus 3 a minus 5 should be greater than or equal to zero we can factorize it it will be 2 a square plus 5a minus 2a minus 5 and greater than or equal to 0 taking a common we will have 2a plus 5 and then minus 1 common it is 2a plus 5 and it is greater than or equal to 0 so this implies that 2a plus 5 into a minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 so it states that a belongs to minus infinity to minus 5 by 2 
it is inclusive union then one one is also inclusive because here equal to symbol is also there and infinity second condition is that the vertex lie on the right hand side of the x equal to 2 so xv is greater than 2 this implies that minus b by 2a is greater than 2 or b is having the value minus 4a and a is having the value 1 so it is greater than 2 or we can say it is 2a is greater than 2 or a is greater than 1 this is our condition number 2 third condition is that product of the coefficient a and the value of the function at point 2 should be greater than 0 because both are the positive terms this will give value of coefficient of x square is 1 and function value will be 2 square minus 4 into a into 2 plus 2a square minus 3a plus 5 that will be greater than 0 this implies that 4 minus 8a plus 2a square minus 3a plus 5 is greater than 0 then 2a square and then adding these a terms it will be minus 11a and then with numbers it will be 9 and it should be greater than 0 and now we factorize it it will be 2a square minus 9a minus 2a plus 9 is greater than 0 or we can write it is taking a common we will have 2a minus 9 and minus 1 common it is again 2a minus 9 is greater than 0 so this will give 2a minus 9 into a minus 1 is greater than 0 therefore a will belongs to minus infinity to 1 and union 9 by 2 to infinity and on number line if we mark the solution from the first we will have that there is a point one is the positive one and another is minus 5 by 2 so solution is minus infinity to minus 5 by 2 inclusive so we will use solid circle and then 1 to infinity this is our solution number one and solution number two is a is greater than one so another is a is greater than one one is excluding and third is minus infinity to one this is minus infinity to one and then 9 by 2 to infinity here somewhere this is the 9 by 2 so this is having the 9 by 2 to infinity now we have to see which is the common solution that will be the answer so common solution is we are seeing here the first lie in the region this is also here then second solution is also there and third solution is also lie for the value of a belongings to 9 by 2 to infinity hence option d is the correct option